Welcome to Fun Math. Today we'll be continuing talking about probability. We will see we'll learn two dice together. And we will be talking about the probability of getting a sum that is divisible by 5. The problem we will be talking about today is rolling two dice together. And we'll be finding the probability of getting a sum that is divisible by 5. Here we're rolling two dice together. When we're rolling two dice together, what are all the possibilities or outcomes we can get? Those possibilities and outcomes is our simple space. Let's first talk about the possibilities. There are 36 possibilities. Let's only talk about a few of those possibilities. When we roll D1, when we roll D1 and D2 together, we can get 2 on D1 and 3 on D2. Another example is 6 on D1 and 5 on D2. Those are a few of those possibilities. So now let's talk about when we roll D1 and D2 together, what are all the possibilities we can get when a sum is divisible by 5? There are seven possibilities. Let's talk about those seven possibilities. There are 36 possibilities, like we said. So when we roll D1 and D2 together, we can get one on D1 and four on D2. But why do we have one and four as one of the possibilities? We have one and four as one of the possibilities because when we add one and four together, we will get five. That is why five is divisible by five, right? So another example is two and three. Another one is three and two. Four and one, or four and six, five and five, or six and four. Those are the seven possibilities that are divisible by five. So here we have the 36 possibilities and the seven possibilities that have a sum that is divisible by five. So when we roll D1 and D2 together, what are all the possible outcomes we can get? All the possible outcomes are our sample space. And our sample space is 1 and 1, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, so on until 6 and 6. So we have 36. So that is why the number of elements in our sample space is 36. Here we will be talking about the 7 possibilities that have a sum that is divisible by 5. So let's say E. So E is 1 and 4, 2 and 3, 3 and 2, 4 and 1, 4 and 6, 5 and 5, and 6 and 4. Those are the 7 possibilities. That is why the number of elements in E is 7. Let's talk about our formula now. The formula is the number of ways an event can happen or occur over, over the total possible outcomes, which is the num number of elements in E over the number of elements in S. So the number of elements in E is 7, and the number of elements in S is 36. That is why we have 7 over 36. So the probability of getting a sum that is divisible by 5 is 7 over 36. That is all for today. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching.